Hey guys, it's Craig here, aka the NWF. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're busting out Google Translate and learning the meaning of Unbesiegbar as we check out WWE Mattel Elite Series 96 and a first time in the line figure depiction for the deliverer of Torpedo Moscow, the Tsar of NXT, Ilya Dragunov. Is this figure deserving of a 5 star rating? Let's dive straight into it. Originally announced as part of Elite Elite Series lineups for Series 96 and 97 back in May, a prototype of this figure was shown just over two months later at San Diego Comic Con, alongside Hulk Hogan, Kofi Kingston and the remaining figures from the same series. This may be a first time effort by the Mattel team, but it's also a first ever figure depiction for Dragunov. After over 10 years in wrestling and 3 years signed with the WWE. As with all elites, Dragunov comes with alternate sets of hands that can be used to recreate his signature poses. He also comes with a WWE UK Championship title belt, the emphasis being on WWE UK as although the belt was rebranded following the name change to NXT UK, the Mattel belt mould never received the same treatment. The final accessory is a red cloth entrance robe that features black cuffs and a black neckline. It's a nice piece and it being cloth as opposed to soft plastic is definitely appreciated. But unless I'm mistaken, it's based on this much more intricate design and if that is the case, it's missing a huge amount of detail. This is a theme that's continued with the attire itself. I previously made a custom of Dragunov based on the same trunk design that was created by Shida Gear on Instagram. It's notable that the trunks on the official release feature only one black bar on each side of the waist, where the actual trunks have two on either side with a darker red in between. I've replicated that here on my custom. Dragunov switched from taller wrestling boots to ankle height ones during his NXT UK run. But again, I'm only aware of him wearing these in red and black, which have been replicated in a similar colorway by Mattel for Vader. Not just black on its own, like they've given him here. My custom is actually based on his earlier NXT UK run, so we can't fairly compare the two, but it's really pleasing to see the same part choices used for the Fies. Here's a full side-by-side -side of the official release with my custom Dragunov I made back in December 2020. I'm still pretty happy with the job that I did overall. As well as the five parts, both myself and Mattel opted for the same torso as well as using a red plastic crotch piece. Double jointed arms were a pipe dream back when I made this and they really do take the official release up a gear along with the realistic head scan. The lightness of the sculpt is incredible and those eyes are truly something else. Something about that hair colour just wasn't sitting well with me at all. So I took out my paintbrush and here's the result. I lightened the hair using Citadel XV88 layer paint and then dry brushed a white and yellow mix over the top to add some highlights and some additional depth. And I've got to say, I'm a lot happier with how this looks now. Looking at the articulation, the head rotates fully on the peg, goes up and down, and the scan is easily removable. The shoulders have full 360 degree rotation, though the left shoulder joint on mine was incredibly stiff. The arms feature double joints at the elbow. The ab crunch moves forward this much and back this much with full rotation at the waist. The legs are on a ball joint and move forward this much. The knees have the expected range of motion and the boots rotate fully at the lower calf. So how did Dragunov fare in the star rating system? I'd give him a strong three and three quarter stars out of five. 
It may feel like I've been nitpicky with the criticism I've leveled at the gear and the hair color, but I hold Mattel in such high regard. And in my opinion, these are things that could have been done much better. Just needed that little bit of extra attention. I do still think this figure is well worth picking up though. The facial likeness is brilliant and the actual part choices are spot on. And who knows when we'll be graced by Dragunov's presence in the Elite line again, I'm definitely pleased to have added him to my collection. What are your thoughts on this one? Do let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the next video. Until next time, stay safe. See ya.